Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play video from my Romania uh, campaign. We've established that we uh, are now the Romanian People's Republic. Uh, we were able to get uh, communists to be the ruling uh, majority of our population, so we're just waiting to um, try and fabricate claims and stuff on people. Let's actually see. We can justify already. So. Do we want to start doing that? I think yes. Uh, Bulgaria doesn't really have many resources. Uh, you can see they only have like the two aluminum, uh, whereas Hungary has a ton of aluminum, a little bit of uh, steel, and some more oil, which we already have uh, a, a fair amount of. I think we'll try to declare war up here, and then uh, either sweep through and take Austria before Germany can get through it, though I doubt we'll be able to get there that fast. Um, probably take Bulgaria after that, and then Greece, and then Yugoslavia. They'll be the, probably the toughest kids on the block to beat. And then from there, uh, I'm not sure, we'll, s we'll keep our options open. We'll have uh, Big Brother over here uh, to help uh, keep us safe from uh, these dangerous fascists uh, in Germany and Italy. Uh, or we could potentially go after Turkey. I have tons of chromium. Just tons of it, but nothing really else. That's all that great. Um, Iraq is, is not allied to anybody, and they're not being... Uh, guaranteed by anybody yet so if we can sweep through Turkey we could potentially start going into uh, the Middle East and gobbling up this stuff See, in Hearts of Iron 3 uh, they would be protected by uh, Great Britain already and you couldn't just sweep in without uh, getting the wrath of of Great Britain coming down on you so let's start justifying war goal conquer Uh, let's see. Let's just go for this. It's gonna not raise. No. Well, attention too much. Uh, not even a percentage. That will come down a little bit. While we are doing that, uh, let's also go back to our our forces that we have in uh, Spain trying to fight for Republic of Spain. The reason I picked them was because uh, it'd be one less fascist to have to deal with if uh, if Germany does take over. Then they'll be kind of stopped here and would have to also attack them. So if we can get them... Uh, oh, Amelia Earhart lived! Excellent. Uh, if we can get them fighting as many fronts as possible, that's good, because I've noticed uh, in playing a different campaign that the AI isn't great at uh, handling like a, a massive front. So we'll see what we can do. We're winning this battle. Let's speed it up a little bit. These guys should be really low supply. So we're just going to push them all the way out. Sometimes AI um, controlled countries ha do a really bad job of finishing off uh, units that have been uh, surrounded and are out of supply. Looks like our other unit is in a fight over here. Currently winning. Oh, we're on the offensive. No, yeah, we're on the defense, sorry. Looks like everyone's going there. Let's see if we can't come here and then sweep with this guy since he's he's attacking here. It's interesting that we can't actually see those other fights. And we're slowly winning. This 
Spain is moving some troops around. Marco Polo Bridge incident occurred. World tensions at 5% now. Steadily climbing. If we can take this, we could possibly forge a bit of a hole and, and go down this river line. Uh, we're gonna have to hold this now, but if we can, if we can come down here and cut them off and encircle these divisions, that would be huge. Uh, and exactly what we'd want to do, if, if possible. We are really not doing great in the south, though. But we're gonna focus on the north. He's attacking us, so we're gonna move in here. He's already at disadvantage because he's been attacking across the river. And we're dug in a little bit. Uh, but we finished the research. Let's go, let's see what's available. It's been a day since I recorded, so just trying to remember everything. It's 1937. Mountain infantry. Recon is is pretty helpful because it, it uh, will help towards your initiative. I think we're probably gonna go with light tanks. Already doing that. Oh no, actually we're gonna do. Oh yeah, we are. time could be really nice. I think we're going to wait on that though. Yeah, let's go and get the next line of light tanks. I'm pausing. And yeah, you see we're he's still in, engaged here. We're hitting him on two different sides. We should easily win the defense and, and actually push him here a little bit. He's getting attacked from both sides, so we should easily win this. And once we do, I'm actually going to move into this next unoccupied area. Oh, it looks like he's already doing that, so... No, he got attacked. So that halted his advance. How are we doing on supplies? Good, good. Got a little bit of a stockpile. Let's look at our units here and see. Let's let's exercise them a little bit. We have some supplies. Uh, our manpower is not great, but I think we're just gonna save up uh, and change uh, <laughs> our conscription law. Currently, we are volunteer only, which is terrible. You only get 1.5% of your uh, population. And I think we're just going to go up to extensive conscription. 5% uh, is a huge boost. It does increase training time a lot, but until we get into like a really big war, this should suit us pretty well. Uh, what do we have? We have 18 million base, which is not bad for like a smaller kind of country to start with. So we've defended here. Uh, he's actually moved in here. So this guy is somewhat entrenched. Uh, he's not actually. We're gonna stop him from moving by attacking. I don't really see how he could get out of there. Is he? Yes, he's out of supply. So he should actually lose uh, fairly soon. So organizations should start dropping rapidly. Encir encircling people and attacking is, is what you want to do, if at all possible. Uh, you can't really fight if you don't have 
the guns and bullets to fight with. So still holding this. They're kind of moving some more troops over in here, trying to push through. I really wish, I don't know why we can't see like what's happening in this fight. That's it's really disappointing. Whoa, look at the south. Ah, they're putting in some work when we got a guy division encircled here. I think I think we're gonna pull this off. We're gonna kill this division. Once we do that, no, it'll free up this guy to move out. And we're gonna try and, and get like these two provinces encircle like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven maybe. That would be awesome if we could get those seven. Hopefully they don't uh, notice what I'm doing and pull back. We're going to move over to here and then push here. Our, uh, our general has a bonus to fighting in the hills. Though that's mountains, we don't really want to fight there unless we have to. That's forest. Um, it's not ideal, but let's give it a shot. No, oh, we're beating them bad. All this and without getting any kind of planning bonus either. I was going to say, sometimes the AI confuses me as to why they don't try and take more. And he like instantly lost that fight and he might retreat into nothing. No. He's doing the two-step. We're doing better here. Uh, but they're uh, defending well. We have twins fighting each other. It's a sad, sad state of affairs in the world. And it looks like Republic Spain is, is pushing back. Did, uh... Are those the Soviet troops? Who are they? Hmm. Let's win this fight. What's supply doing? Infantry equipment still on the rise, even though we're exercising these guys. Yes, do all the jumping jacks. That's, that's how I learned how to do war jumping jacks. I think when we push him, we'll move somebody else here and then get into there as fast as possible. Unless we get some help from our friends. Speeding this up because it's kind of crazy. And we have encircled them. Come on, defend this. Somebody. Don't let them break this. No! <sighs> Alright, he, he stopped them. Alright, now they're encircled. And they should start running out of supplies and not really be able to move. We'll give it a little bit of time before we uh, do anything combat wise to them because as more time goes by their resources resources should dwindle yeah that looks that looks like a, a Russian uh, Russia's maybe sent some people over Yes, they got volunteers from Russia, which is usually what happens. Republic in Spain usually gets volunteers from Russia because they do their part. Let's uh, let's give this guy a little poke and see just how bad he is. This strength is uh not great, so I'm assuming that we're gonna win this. I'm a little bit unpatient. Let's cut them.
them off from getting this airport. Since they have two guys here but nobody here, it doesn't make any sense. So they're losing organization, but not quite as fast as I would hope. They're probably going to feel the pain soon. Yes, yeah, they're just not getting the organization back and it's dropping. They have base 10 more organization than we do, so it's a good thing that they're running on supplies. Let's help this out. Yeah, death to fascists. Let's get that claim. Am I missing things? Not really. Oh, well, what's this? We're low on steel. So, who's got some steel? Our good buddies. Give us more, please. Production lines are, are moving. Excellent. Uh, let's let's finish up this encirclement, then we'll end this video. How we doing? Yeah, definitely making a big difference this time. But see, like, why is the AI 